Here's a review of the Ghost 360 mag pouches which I received this week, so no November 2015. So uh, when you order one, uh, this is what you get in one package. You'll see that there are two mag holders in here. Plus an instruction sheet. The instruction sheet's not all that helpful, but it doesn't take too long to figure out how to make these work. The pouches do come in a lot of other colors as well. But not uh, too detailed an instruction pamphlet, but let's have a look anyway. Um, you'll see that this particular mag holder, this is the type that's going to mount 90 degrees away from your body. This is the one I'm going to use. But you can see there are sort of ratchets there, some holes on the side, and I'll show you what those are all about. Here's the, um, the sort of standard way people mount their mag pouches on their belt. See, there's the uh, belt hanger. This is the normal sideways mounting. But I choose to mount mine 90 degrees away because I need more space on my belt as I'm quite slim. I don't want to have to reach all the way around my back, which is what I have to do if I mounted it with those. Uh, in the little plastic bag, let's see what we've got in here. Um, there are three of these black little tension springs, but there is a difference between them. I just want to get that out. You'll see here on this one, there's a little ridge. This one has a higher tension, a sort of higher tension spring compared to this one. See, this one doesn't have a little ridge to it, so that's a lesser tension. But you get two of each, two of the higher tension, two of the lesser tension. There's the other, there's the fourth one with the higher tension. So let's see what else we have in the bag. You'll notice there are four little plastic white little screws. Uh, again, you get two which are sort of long there, and then two which are slightly shorter. But I'll show you what we're going to use those for later on. We're only going to use one or two at the most, so you've got a couple of spares there if any get lost. So there's one of the longer ones and there's the shorter one. So as you can see, this is the one I'm going to use. Those little uh, white screws, they're going to go in either of those two holes. And they're going to be poking through the other side. It's all going to be do to do with the magazine retention. So we'll show you that later on. Okay, here's the uh, mag pouch mounted in the usual way, which many people have, sideways. There's the back side of it. Now, to actually get this off, I'm going to want to have to pop out that retention spring by just using the screwdriver just to pop out the little clips so that falls out so I can access the retention screw. That's very fiddly, so I'm going to stop it and, oh, there it is, it's out. Um, okay, put that to one side, and now you can see that particular screw which holds the mag pouch to the belt hanger. But you've got to remove that tension spring to get at that. So it's going to take that off because I don't want to use this particular style mag pouch. But it's all the same for both, for both of them. Okay, so we'll take that off. Oh, there's the screw that just fell out of the back end. That's going to go back in there into the little recess. Also note on here, there is a recess for that nut that just fell out. And that's going to fit in right there, flush. See, there's the bell. Now, notice here, you, you've got the little ratchets here. We're going to see how that works later on. And here, here are the screws. Uh, you, there is some adjustability here for your belt, especially this bit here. You've got some up and down uh, wiggle room there. And of course, uh, there's the screw, which we can just knock out there. Keep that to one side, don't lose it. Now, take a close look. Here is a little rubber grommet there. That's going to stay on there. And uh, that's, well, I got, I'll show you what we're going to use that for later on. But don't lose it. It's going to come in handy later on. So just put that to one side. Okay. Um, yeah, to adjust the, the belt hanger, of course, you can loosen off these. You've got some up and down movement there, maybe half an inch. So very easy to do. And you can adjust that even while it's on your belt. 
so very easy to do. A little bit of versatility there. And of course, to actually get it on the belt, you know, take these off as well. And then, of course, when it's on your belt, adjust and tighten up. Very simple. Okay, um, this is the mag pouch I'm going to use. Get rid of some burring inside of there, clean it out a bit. You see the sort of ratchets there and the little teeth. And there's the recess hole for the screw that's going to hold the mag pouch onto the belt hanger. There's that screw with a rubber grommet. This is quite fiddly, but eventually we're going to fit it back in that hole. And now you're going to see how this fits to the belt hanger. It's going to be very stable. And it is exactly the same for both style mag pouches. But now you're going to be able to see how this can ratchet around for different angles. I'll show you how that works later on. But you're going to be able to do that once everything is mounted on your belt. It's quite easy. Otherwise, we're going to try and see how we can get this back in there. Yeah, the, the rubber grom is quite important for that ratcheting action. It's going to give us some play to do that. But at the same time, keep the mag pouch tight. Now, I'm going to use the tension spring. This is the higher tension. Remember, that's the lower tension, the one without the ridge. And eventually, uh, it's going to go in there. It's quite fiddly to get in, but that's going to be the last thing we pop in there. So it was quite fiddly. Um, otherwise, yeah, uh, you'll be able to see you got to get this the, the right way around because the recess there, we've got to get the nut back in there. But you can see how uh, the teeth fit into the hole there. Just got to get it the right way around. Uh, with the belt hang, you, you can mount it either way. Uh, you can mount it that way or that way or whichever way you like. Plus, you've got the, you can ratchet the angle of the mags as well. So really quite versatile. So uh, I'm going to try and mount this now. It can be a little bit fiddly. Remember, don't forget your rubber grommet there. So we're going to snap that into there in that recess. Just sits in a little recess in the mag pouch. This is quite fiddly. We've got to get this part. Remember to leave the recess facing you. We've got to get the nut in there in just a little while. Make sure everything clicks into place. Oops, that fell out, so I've got to get it back in. And then I'm going to get that nut. Okay, that's got to fit in the recess so it sits flush. So it sits flush in there. Okay, just turn that over. Now I'm going to tighten that screw up. Now you can, if you like, you can tighten it down quite a bit. If you like, it's going to hold the mag pouch quite solid on the belt hanger. So you can tighten it uh, finger tight. You don't need to go too tight. But then uh, that's going to hold it very solid. Just do one more little little turn, finger tight, and you'll see that that holds very securely onto the belt hanger. So it, w it won't budge because I've uh, tightened it down finger tight, quite, quite finger tight. But if you back it off a little bit, <clears throat> just a little bit, it'll, it's still going to be quite uh, solid. You can then ratchet it. That's where the rubber grommet comes into play. It gives you a little bit of leeway to twist a ratchet the mag pouch around to different angles. It does click nicely and it's still holding onto the mag, sorry, still holding onto the belt hanger quite solid. It's, that's not going to come off. But you can actually do that while everything is mounted on your belt. Change the angle. Now I've got to get the tension little spring back into that hole there. Okay, that's going to hold the mag in place. It's fiddly, so uh, I'll just take a break there. Okay, there it is. It's in place. So that's going to hold the back end of the mag pouch. It's a, bit, a little bit fiddly to get in, but it will snap into place 
quite easily. So let's see what happens when we put a mag. This is a 9mm mag for a GP Excalibur. So you can see when you fit it in there, uh, there is it's now going to start wiggling. Although it, it, it's not going to drop out, but look at the wobble there. Okay, that's just with that back tension spring in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a side tension spring into that one. Okay, again, I'm going to choose to use the one with a little ridge. That's a little bit more tension there, and I'm going to snap it into place in there. Again, a little bit fiddly, so we'll come back and show you that. Okay, that's in. You see that snapped into place there. So there's one tension spring on the back and on the side. So let's see what happens when we put a magazine in there. So it, it does snap nicely into place. But now there's still a little bit of sideways movement there. We don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to take that out. Now this is where we're going to use this hole. Not, I'm going to use the top one, not that bottom one and it's going to come through the other side there. This is where we're going to use those little white plastic screws. And I'm going to use the longer one. I've already measured this, but they give you a shorter one in case you need it. So I'm going to use one of these longer ones. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to screw it right through till it's flush. Now, um, I've used other Ghost products uh, like this, and to keep it in there, I've used some bathroom silicone to really uh, let it stay in there, in case you're worried that it might come out. Bathroom silicone you can get back out as well, it's not permanent. So there it is, it's in there, it's uh, sticking through the other side, it's flush. Now, with the magazine back in, snaps in nicely, and now there's no movement, there's no sideways movement as you can see. It's actually sitting in there quite neatly. There's no way that's going to fall out. It is quite snug in there, slides out very smoothly and snaps into place very easily as well. You would do the same thing with the little white screws on the other mag pouch as well if you need to. And as I said, you can just uh, ratchet it around to change the angle if you like. And remember, you can do that while everything's mounted on your belt. So just choose your angle for whatever course of fire you want to do, or whether you're whether you have to squat or even lay down, you could you can change the angle. And you see, there it is. Uh, I've mounted two of these on the belt for you to see. You see, so you you can adjust the angle while everything's mounted. You don't have to take anything off or loosen anything. Okay, there's the other side. The, and you can see at the bottom there how I've used some of the um, the adjustability for the belt there and there. So again, you, you can do whatever you like depending on your belt. You could turn those upside down if you like. Okay, there's another angle for you. And they fit quite closely together with these 90 degree uh, pouches away from my body. So I, I don't have to reach all the way around to my the other side of my body. There you go. The... Um, Max fit in there nicely, and yeah, you can twist that thing 360, which is probably why they call it the Ghost 360 Mac pouch. Uh, with the belt hanger, if you like, you can play around with mounting it the other way, if you like. Again, you've got some wiggle room, some adjustability, if you wish to have a look at that. But they do fit quite close together, which is what I need, because I'm quite slim, and I don't want to have to reach all the way around. So they're going to fit quite closely together, which is why I chose... Uh, these particular mag pouches. And that's a double alpha belt, if you're wondering. So everything fits very snugly. So there's the angle. Again, you can change those. There you go, there's the other angle. They're sitting vertically. So that's whatever you would like to do. So quite versatile. Give it a try. Hope that was helpful, guys.